In 40 Voice Enterprise, callers can connect to remote extensions through auto attendance or through call cascade transfers. A remote extension reaches an external phone by automatically selecting the line from a trunk and dialing the phone number. For example, a caller could contact the auto attendant, which dials a local extension. The employee is not there, so the call transfers to a remote extension. That remote extension dials the employee's cell phone number to connect the caller to the employee. This video guides you through the process of configuring a remote extension. First, we'll need to create a new remote extension. To do this, go to Extension, Extension, Remote Extensions. Select New. First, we'll enter the extension number for which calls are transferred to remote extension. You can select Show Suggested Numbers if you forget what numbers are available. Next, enter a remote phone number where the incoming call will be transferred to. Select Enable to activate the remote extension. Enter the display name. This will be the name displayed on the remote extension when a call is transferred. Enter an external caller ID if you want to display a specific caller ID on a called phone instead of a 40 voice primary number. Now we'll enter the password that the user must enter if they wish to access their voicemail. Select the appropriate authentication type from the drop-down menu. Remember that LDAP requires an LDAP profile and authentication ID. Now we'll expand the voice mailbox tab and configure accordingly if we want other users or groups to share the voice mailbox. So, for example, you may want others to be able to access your mailbox when you're away from the office. Finally, select Create. Your remote extensions are now configured in 40 Voice Enterprise. Thanks for watching and have a great day.